Hi, I'm Sunil Perrin and I'm here today with GM7 Photography at Ferrum Studio where we're going to be doing a variety of portrait lighting techniques. So I have been modeling for 14 years. Uh, I was 14 when I started modeling. I was agency signed for a little while, but that didn't work out for me. So I went freelance when I was about 20. Being a photographer definitely helps my modeling because I understand lighting. I understand what the photographer is looking for. And I think I can help the shoot to run more smoothly. And I think being a studio owner helps with my modeling because I meet lots and lots of other models more so than I would if I was just modeling. And and I really hear their experiences and hear what they're looking for and what they're not looking for. And I think that overall makes me more empathetic as a person. My favorite thing about being a model is the variety. Um, I have been very lucky to travel all sorts of different places, work with all sorts of different people and do amazing things. And no two days ever the same. And that is definitely my favorite part of the job. I think my least favorite thing about modeling is the prejudices that you come up against from people who think that it's not a proper job or they have a seedy sort of idea of what it is that I do or they think that it's very easy. They think that I must have failed at another career in order to do it. Um, so yeah, I think kind of coming up against what other people perceive my job to be versus what it actually is. When you're a model, you have to run your own business. You have to do all of your own accounts or your own logistics or your own travel, your customer service, you are an absolute one man band. I would advise somebody starting in the industry as a model to trust their instincts. Uh, there is no situation that is worth compromising your safety. So if anything ever feels uncomfortable or feels not right in a certain way, then just don't do it. Uh, focus on building a really beautiful portfolio, even if that takes you a little bit of time and money. Don't agree to work with everybody just because they ask you. Be selective, be careful, focus on your brand and be patient. As a photographer, I would advise you to book an amazing model. Don't get into the habit of thinking that you're not good enough or that you're not going to be able to capture them in a certain way. Professional models are there to help you in the same way that you would employ a golfing instructor or anybody else to teach you the ropes. Go and learn from somebody who knows exactly what they're doing. I think it's impossible to predict what the future of modeling and photography is going to look like. And I think that the pandemic threw a massive curveball into the industry and changed it forever in the way that we know it. I think we're going to see a lot more self-shot content from models moving forward. Those who have started OnlyFans and other kind of fan sites during the pandemic are becoming a lot more self-reliant. And I think we're going to see a lot more self-portraiture and a lot more self-shot things from those. Uh, which I think is really interesting because you get a much more raw sense of the artist when they're the only one involved in the creative process. So I think that's really fascinating. From a photography perspective, I think with photography being so accessible now, with cameras becoming less expensive every day and camera phones becoming more impressive every day, I think photographers are going to have to really up their game and do something really special to be able to break through the noise of a billion images uploaded every day. 